Hey guys, Magnus Robert here, bringing you another Dead Walking Dead character video. Today we are looking at Livitz, another Commonwealth soldier. Livitz is of course male, he is played by Jason Fernandez for most of his appearances, but he is played by Chase Anderson for the, his last episode. He is late 20s to early 30s and first appeared in A Certain Doom. Nothing is known about his life pre-outbreak, but after it began he found and joined the Commonwealth. He eventually signed up to be a trooper and whilst he served his community, he met Zell and the two formed a sexual relationship. On their breaks they'd go off and have sex. He also posed in Lance's little Welcome to the Commonwealth commercial. That's cute. Just before the episode, he was sent by Lance to ambush and capture some people who had been talking to a resident over the radio. In Season 10, Livitz ambushes Eugene, Yumiko, Ezekiel and Princess alongside his other troopers. There, he's looking fly. After capturing them, Princess fights back, and I can't tell them apart, so he may have been the one to pin her down, who knows. He helps to separate all four of the people, and in the morning begins to patrol the train carts, reporting back to base as he does so. Later on, Livet stands with the bagged survivors as Princess is bagged up by Tyler, and Livet helps to transport them to the processing centre. Also, at some point, Livet hurts his leg, I guess. In season 11, as they're operating the wagon and bringing them in to the location, Livitz and his lover Zell have a conversation that alerts Princess to their sexual activities. The two also got it on some time after this, and Princess obviously noticed. The next day or so, they're both guarding the processing centre, where they flirt with one another in their own little way, and Princess notices. Later, they go and hook up again, and Livitz and Zell's armour is stolen as they make love. I'm really not sure how, but they must have not noticed someone else had worn it. In the hallway of the interview room, Livitz stands guard, and later he accompanies another soldier to collect Eugene, who seems to be carving up some sort of shank. He might be one of the soldiers to bring Eugene to reunite with his friends, I don't know, I can't tell them apart. Maybe he's here with Mercer, stopping Eugene and Co from using the radio. Again, I don't know. Livitz is outside the walls watching over the prisoners who are killing zombies to pay for their crimes, and when Eugene punches Sebastian, Livitz helps to arrest the man. Months later, Livitz accompanies Rosita in doing a wellness check on Shira, aka Stephanie. After knocking, there is no response on the door, so Rosita gives Livitz a little nod before opening up to look inside. The two exit after finding nothing, and Rosita tells Eugene that she wasn't there, and tells Eugene to come down to the station to file a report. Livitz accompanies in the envoy to Alexandria, keeping Pamela Milton safe. After Pam gets bored of that community, Livitz continues with the envoy and arrives at the Oceanside, where again, he helps keep the peace. They travel to the hilltop, but on the road catch Maggie and friends dealing with some walkers, but they don't have to do anything as those hilltoppers have got it covered. Livitz eventually arrives at the hilltop and helps to set up tents. When a bunch of zombies arrive at the community, Livitz waits on guard, and when Mercer shouts fire, he mows them down along with his other troopers. They eventually all pack up and leave the hilltop, heading back to the Commonwealth. Some days later, Livitz is at the police station, flipping through some papers. Vickers gives... The soldiers, their posts, but not Livitz. Looks like he's sticking in the station. Another day, he's seen sat at a desk and hands another trooper some papers. Not sure what it is, though. And later that same day, he's enjoying a coffee when Eugene bursts in to surrender himself and Livitz watches him be arrested. Livitz prepares as a swarm approaches the community. He goes to guard the East Gate. However, he is only joined by a select amount of troopers. Livitz radios asking where his backup is, as he needs every trooper down here now. He then notices a zombie climbing their way into the community. He radios what he sees, and then shoots one of the climbers. He radios again, demanding backup right now, screaming, the rotters are climbing the walls! But sadly, Livitz didn't see the climber behind him, and it grabs him. Livitz wrestles with the climber, and it's able to knock off Livitz's helmet. Damn, he's even smarter. And then, sadly, he does this to live it. As the zombie chews on his face, he accidentally opens the gates to the community. Then the zombie continues to chow down on Livitz as another one comes to join in, as you can see here. Off screen, Livitz is devoured by walkers. R.I.P. Livitz. 
Livitz was a cool trooper who followed through from season 10 all the way to the penultimate episode. I mean, really, it's a bit weird that this one guy was responsible for capturing non-residents, guarding the processing facility, going on envoys, chilling in the station, and also guarding the walls. I mean, dude did everything. No arc or anything, but I feel sorry for Zell. His lover is no more. Anyway, that's it for Livitz. Tell me your thoughts on the man, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.